As a parent, you can be very focused on the results, on the academic results, and obviously the core subjects are massively important. But just as important is this feeling of well-being, of joy, of children wanting to go to school, of children wanting to get to lunchtime so they can go off to that club or society. Music's really important at Rafa Grammar School and it's something that's really thriving in Clock House. Whether it's playing a solo uh, as a lead guitarist or as the smallest year seven in junior choir who's had no experience before, we want everybody at BGS to get involved in music. We have lots of different musical clubs here, it's just thriving, there's something for everybody to get involved in. We are excited about what we do. We love what we do. We walk in amongst each other's classrooms, see what the children are doing, advise each other, give each other different materials to support their learning. And the, the students see that, so they're not afraid of actually seeing what everybody else is doing, comparing and saying, oh, we're doing this and talking about it. And we're open every day. Every lunchtime we're here and the, the art rooms are full to the brim. Drama is quite unique in the way that when we work on performances that we're going to do. It's really important for the students to work together. They learn that the backstage crew, the technical crew, the script writers, the directors and the actors are all just as important as each other. And because of that, they learn about collaboration, working as an ensemble, developing their creativity and they focus on how to improve themselves so that they can help the rest of their group. In orchestra and wind band, there's so many different instruments, the violins and the flutes and the trumpets, and they all have to fit those parts together. And I think that's really high level thinking, really, that we, we encourage them from, from a very young age. We have a junior chamber choir, we have a senior chamber choir, and we have a close harmony group. And for everybody to come together, half an hour of just concentration and fun is just an absolutely fantastic thing to do. And I don't think there's many schools that, that have that kind of opportunity. We get a sense of reward from seeing students over a period of time because you see how their work progresses, how they participated, how they've improved. There was one student uh, last year who came to drama club on their own, very quiet for the first few sessions, then started to open up. And within a year, they were just such a core member of the drama club. Saw them blossom in confidence and, um, and in skill. I was really pleased that drama club gave them that opportunity and the confidence then to later audition and get onto the stage and to really fulfil what they wanted to do. We've got a student who's going on to do an interview in creative music technology and we've also got students at the moment who's applying to all the London music colleges to uh, hopefully go on and have a career as a singer. So we've got practical um, advice to give students and contacts at music colleges and things like that. We've had a series of artists that have gone through the school. The most famous living one is David Hockney. We also have a series of architects, Stephanie Sharp, for instance, and her sister, who is now um, curating her own gallery in Falmouth, where she was at university studying the fine arts. A lot of people would look at arts and, and think it's one of those hobby subjects. And I think a lot of people forget just how much around them, if you clicked your fingers, what would disappear without an art background or an art interest or an industry and I think it would be quite a bare world. Mm -hmm.